Wizard, I honestly cannot believe that I am here again. This is the pancake swap finance prediction platform. And you've seen me do videos on this in the past. And my message to you was just don't trade this. And actually that is still my message to you. However, I have been able to find a discernible edge and I'm gonna tell you how I did it and what I found because definitely I've been able to find a 7% edge in trading this. Now, just very quickly, I have also added a new Udemy course that is here in the Udemy courses. It shows you how to integrate an API with ChatGPT and 11 labs to produce a human sounding voice and a chatbot that can speak to you in real time. And it is awesome. So definitely if you're into the AI side, go and check that out. Now, going back to PancakeSwap, the idea here is forget trying to predict direction. Just forget that because we need to assume that markets move on a random walk and that this is the flip of a coin, right? It could be heads, it could be tails. It could be heads 10 times in a row. It could be tails 10 times in a row. That can actually happen. And so the idea was to rather try to predict, can we figure out when the payout will be greater than two for a certain direction? Think about that for a minute. If you are able to flip a coin and you know that the payout will be greater when it lands on tails, you can predict when that will happen. You don't know if it will land on tails, but you know that the payout will be higher if it lands on tails than if it landed on heads. All you need to do is bet tails at those points in time. 50% of the time, you might be wrong in a 50-50 game, but when you're right, you make more money than you lose. And so this is what I tried to figure out and I did figure it out. And that is exactly what I'm going to share with you here in this video. So for example, here you can see the payout for an up would have be 2.32. The payout for a down would be 1.76. This one here had zero. This one here is 2.1 for up. This one here was 2.83 if you bet down and those who bet down got that payout. And the reason is because PancakeSwap works based off liquidity. So if loads of people are betting up and one person bets down, you know, loads of people betting lots of capital that it'll go up, one person with a little bit of capital bets it'll go down. Well, if that one person's right, all the ups pay the down person. So that down person can make a lot of money off of that trade. Now, the idea here is, can we predict when that's going to happen? First risk, there are exchange fees and commissions with PancakeSwap. If you trade small size, you're not going to make it back. If you trade large size and it's a large percentage of your capital, you are going to lose all your money. All the models, all the math says so. We shouldn't care about opinions. It's math. If you do the math, you'll see that's how it works, which is why, you know, from prior videos as well, I'm very much in favor of us developing a platform that has no commissions and fees because there doesn't need to be a middleman with the blockchain. All right, I've said that before, I'm gonna repeat it again. So just know that this is why I'm not actively trading this right now, but I know some of you are, and I wanted to show you how you can get an edge on it. So here we go. So what I've done is collected all of this data. Now, every five minutes, a bot is going through, looking at the contract and capturing the data at a certain point in time. What is that point in time? It's 30 seconds before the round ends. So just imagine that for this round here, for example, 30 seconds before it shuts down, allowing you to bet up or down, it goes and gets the liquidity. How many people bet up or how much was bet on up? How much was bet on down? What's the bull ratio? What's the bear ratio? And it happened just at the right time every five minutes. So it gathered as much information as possible just before this round closes but also with enough buffer, 30 seconds of buffer, so that you know you're not gonna miss the data or miss the trade. Again, if you're a member of Crypto Wizards or a lifetime member of Code Raiders, you have access to this. Just use the same email that you used when you signed up to Crypto Wizards. That said, here's the data, 2,871 rows of data stored in a database, collected every day, all day, for the last 10 days or so. And so you can see here are the numbers. Here's what the bull ratio was at the last time step. Here's what it is at the current time step. Here's what it was two time steps prior. There's the amount. 
etc. All of this. Here's the price change, right? What did the price change do? What was the prior price change? All of that information is captured like a snapshot, a picture being taken at a point in time. Because the idea is we can then wait for those points in time in a live trading scenario, which I've done and which I've done with this. And I've also given you the code for and trade based on what the data is telling us. And how do we know what the data is telling us? Well, again, we don't rely on our feelings and our emotions, because if you do that in this kind of game, it will kill you. It will take all your money. We do it with machine learning. And so there is a code package for this here, but let me just show it to you. So here, if I go and run Python 3, pancake learner, learn main.py. So here's the folder. You can see here's where the training data is. Here's where the folder is. Here's the script it's running. It's going to take that data and run some machine learning on it. And there you go. It's done. And you can see here the test precision. Now, this is the important number. This is saying, OK, let me carve out a section of data that this model won't ever see. It doesn't know about it and not include it in the training steps. And then at the end, have it predict with what it learned, what it thinks the results should be and compare that to what they actually were. Well, out of 969 trades, because that was the total pool it was given of data it never saw, it got a win rate of 57.7%. Now, in the thumbnail of this video, I put 7%, 7.7%. It can vary. The volatility of that is about 2.1%. So I put plus or minus 2.1%. Okay, 57.7%. And that is with the ability to predict tails. This model can predict whether or not the payout will be greater for you if you are shorting than if you are going long. And it can do it with a striking accuracy. Now, this true number that you see at the bottom here, what this is telling you is whether or not that's a fluke. That was just lucky. And there's an algorithm you can run. It'll give you a p-value. It's all in here. And it tells me, no, it wasn't just luck. So in this code package here, which I'm not going to talk about in a lot of detail because there's a link to the code package, there's about a half an hour video talking through all the code, how it works, how to download it, how to run it, how to do anything you want with it. It's all there. It's already been done for you. But in terms of the structure, just so you know, here's some code which tracks the data. Here's the code which learns what to do. But then there's this trade section. So if I close all of this down, let's collapse everything. If I go into this pancake learner and trade. Here's all the code to actually go and place trades automatically. And again, in the walkthrough, I'll, I'll show you how you can set that up to just run in the background for you all the time. Now, I'm not suggesting you go and trade this. This is for research. I thought it was really interesting. I thought that this size of an edge in any betting industry is huge. It's almost unheard of. And I couldn't help but share it with you. As you know, for those of you who've been with the channel a long time, you already know what I'm talking about. So just to bring this point back, you can predict with PancakeSwap human behavior. You can predict based on the data whether or not the bull ratio is going to be higher or lower in the next round. And you can do it with an edge of 7.7% over the competition. Now, after I put this code out there as well, and it gets executed on, the game is going to change. Also, remember that the past doesn't dictate the future. And so the other thing that I talk about in the code package is just updating your machine learning model every day, how you can automate it to update every day. So it's pulling the latest trends, etc how to track the data for yourself if you want to. If you don't want to use the data that I trained the model on, if you want to capture your own data, all the code for doing that is here as well in Pancake Tracker. And so this is not a coding channel. This is not what Crypto Wizards is for. Code Raiders was designed and put up for that. But I did want to bring this to your attention. There is a verifiable edge. Till the next one, take care and talk soon. Hey, Wizard, just editor Sean here. I just realized I did a very poor job in drumming home the fact that even with an edge, you can still lose your bankroll.